What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video we're going to be diving into the Electric Cup. Now, you and I both know these single type metas get very stale very quickly, much like the Flying Cup like we've seen before. So, take these battles with a grain of salt because I'm only going to be doing them basically once, maybe twice, just to have a bit of fun, but I will not be grinding it this week because the Open Great League is still available. Now, this cup is going to be a great time for you to invest in Pokemon that are solid in Open Great League as well. So, if you haven't built a Gavantula or you haven't built a Lantern, now is the time to do it. They're very solid in this meta and they are very solid in the open great league all right getting into the first battle now you guys notice the move sets over there i have hyper beam on my luxray why because you guys know me i love to boom now lantern was by far the most popular lead that i saw in this meta it is a very strong pokemon across the whole board and it makes sense why it is on the lead and you guys will see i think almost every single battle that i had today was a lantern lead which made it very good to learn Learn how to beat this thing but boom i get destroyed by a hydro pump i did not see that coming i was fully expecting surfs right there and so unfortunately i'm gonna have to uh shield this next charge move this is gonna hurt but i think this one is just gonna be a surf so we're gonna go ahead and stop it load up a bit on energy and then look to go for psychic fangs now if you guys have the hidden power fast move with the ground typing on luxray you guys want to use that but unfortunately i did not have any so this is the only one i can use so we are running hyper beam for the surprise factor and in comes an electrode this electrode would a not shield the psychic fangs and b not shield a wild charge but what about a hyper beam <gasps> boom one shots the electrode and we have the graveler here for gavantula and that is going to be a good game very well played this was my very very first battle of the day to so shout out to my opponent booming me for a hydro pump and then i boomed them right back that was a great way to start off my day i was laughing so hard um so ggs to my opponent right there all right, we got a Gavantula Mirror here on the lead. Now, you guys also may notice my IVs on my Pokemon over there are terrible. Lucky trade on the Graveler, lucky trade on the Luxray, and a hatched um, Gavantula right here. Yes, these three Pokemon, I haven't been able to get good PvP IVs yet, but that doesn't mean it's going to stop me from using them in Go Battle League. So what we're going to do here is just, because I have high attack, right, the 12 attack, right, stat IV, I win CMP ties. Now, they decide to swap in a golem right here um, i believe it is going to be the alolan golem yeah and we're going to go ahead and swap in our alolan graveler and just look to farm down we will have to shield one charge move right here i don't want to get hit with a stone edge if it is going to be it but it is it is the stone edge so beautiful that's a good shield right there we're going to go ahead and just commit to the farm down now with rock throw and alolan graveler still can do a ton of damage in this meta even against a lantern if it does decide to come in because we do have access to stone edge all these moves do neutral damage and sure enough there is a lantern you guys will see like nine out of ten of your games you will see a lantern or you will see a gavantula and you will most likely see both so this is a really nice opportunity for us to look to shield this surf it will do super effective damage but my the damage i'm doing with rock throw is so devastating right now that i'm getting them extremely low now i also want to bank my lolling graveler here in order to fast move down their Gavantula, so I'm going to go ahead and swap into Luxray. Luxray does have the Psychic Fangs, which is a very quick, low energy charge move that we can get to. And they go for the Thunderbolt right there, which I thought was interesting. Maybe Surf does a little... I still think Surf might have done a little bit more, but I could be wrong. Um, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and look to go for the Psychic Fangs now versus Gavantula. And this is looking to be a good game. They might try to commit to the full farm down, which if they do, um, I should still be able to win this game. But they don't. They decide to go for the charge move here, which is fine. Remember, my Alolan Graveler does have Rock Throw but they did a good call right there. That's a high IQ play, undercharging, because now my Alolan Graveler is going to get hit with an energy ball. But what did Luxray do with Psychic Fangs? It lowered the defenses of this Gavantula, which means in the mirror, I win with fast moves because they take more damage than I do. Good game. All right, moving to the next one. We got Gavantula on the lead versus Lantern. We're going to see Lanterns, guys. This is what I saw. It's an 
ungodly amount of lanterns and it makes sense everyone has access to it but this is what gavantula can do very well against it can nearly one shot with energy ball it does a ton of super effective damage and lunge does a lot of neutral damage while also lowering the attack so this is a beautiful lead matchup for us especially with our alolan graveler in the back so we're just going to go ahead and shield these surfs now i i saw everything i saw spark um, lanterns. I saw water gun lanterns, but the lunge debuff is so beneficial to us. We go ahead and go for the energy ball. They shield twice, so now we're going to go ahead and go into Luxray. You guys know I love a good hyper beam, and in it comes another electrode. You love to see it. We're just, oh, this is so satisfying getting two shields and unleashing the Luxray. Boom! One shots the electrode. Ah, oh, it's beautiful to see. Now, if there is a Gavantula in the back on their side, it's going to be a good game because my Alolan Graveler should be able to handle it. Now, thankfully, we can survive a Surf right here. So I'm going to go ahead and no shield and look to go for the Psychic Fangs. My win condition is basically farming down with my Alolan Graveler if I can. Um, and then just one-shotting the Pokemon in the back, whatever is it's going to be. So hopefully we can get to another Psychic Fangs. No, we cannot. Now, they have a good amount of energy. So what I'm actually going to do is come in with Gavantula. This is going to force their hand. And again, what did I say? My win condition is a potential farm down with Graveler. And there's actually going to be a Manectric in the back. Now, I make a horrible play here. Do not do what I just did. I was so fearful of, like, overheat that I wasn't even counting. And I threw the chart. I made such a huge mistake. We all make mistakes. I should have just committed to the farm down. I could have easily no shielded that and committed to the farm down. But unfortunately, now I'm going to lose this game because Lantern's going to get to the surf. So that is a mistake on my end, but it's something you guys can learn from. When you see opportunities like that, make sure you guys are counting the fast moves. I was just not. I was just like, oh God, it's a shadow manek trick. I don't want to get hit with an overheat. So I shielded. Good game, though. All right, moving to the next one. We have Hisuian Electrode on the lead. They swap in Gavantula. We swap in Alolan Graveler. This is why I liked the Gavantula Alolan Graveler core, is the Rock Throw does so well against a lot of the meta and just neutral damage, and it also hard locks down the Gavantula, and you'll have energy on the other side. Plus, our own Gavantula can do a lot of damage um, against majority of the meta with Lunge and Energy Ball. So we can go straight for a Stone Edge right here. They do have two shields, but they decide to let it go through. And this is what I'm talking about. This is what a Lolan Graveler is capable of. We just completely took out, we only had to give up one shield, completely took out Gavantula and got their Lantern to like 15% HP. So now we're going to come in with Luxray because we can easily survive a Surf. We can now apply Shield Pressure here with Psychic Fangs. And we still have a fantastic matchup of Gavantula against Hisuian Electro. Now they decide to swap in an Electrode. So we're going to go ahead and come in with Gavantula, go for a Lunge. And this is good game. Even if they Shield, it's game over. They, they don't have enough Shields or Energy in order to win. So they decide to let it go. And that is going to be a good battle, very well played, because I'm going to go ahead and shield and then farm down. And this is what's so cool, and this is why I said it. If you guys haven't built a Gavantula yet or a Lantern, if you guys are in the same situation as me, where the only ones you have are like a hatched Gavantula, it is still worth, because, I mean, unless you can find one or trade for one, it's still worth having one on your roster and then replacing it later because it's just such a good Pokemon. So, again, in this situation, we're going to go for Lunge. Granted, right there, I should have built up to Energy Ball, but I didn't. I just went straight for the Lunge um, in order to lower the uh, damage. Or I think this is, was this a Spark one? I think I'm going to go ahead and Shield here as well. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and Shield the Surf. Yeah, I think this was a Spark one. Um, we see a safe swap into Gavantula, so we're going to go ahead and come in with the Graveler right here. Now, this is a Volt Switch Gavantula, which means this is just a lunge, which we can survive, and then we can fully farm down right here. So this is still looking pretty good for us. Granted, we are down shields, but we have a good amount of energy on our Graveler. And the Lantern coming, yes, it was a Spark Lantern. Okay, so a lot of different Lanterns. Some run with Spark, some with, run with Water Gun. Um, but we do get a shield right there, which is now going to allow us to get to another Rock Blast, or they have to throw, which is fine by me because I will let this go. We will then look to come in with our own Gavantula right here and look to go for the Lunge right away because it's just going to do enough damage to take out the Lantern. It's neutral, it hits pretty hard, and it's going to be lowering the attack. They decide to let it go. Final Pokemon is going to be a Hisuian Electrode. So this is good game again. Gavantula completely locks down Hisuian Electrode because of Fury Cutter and Lunge. There's really nothing it can do, and we still have our Luxray in the back, so they decided to let it go. Good game. 
All right, moving to the next one. We have lantern again. <laughs> I saw nothing but lanterns, everyone. I can't change what I saw. This is all that I saw was just lanterns. It's fantastic. So this time now we're facing off against Water Gun. We're going to build up to that energy ball and still go for lunges because it can get a shield, it can lower the attack, and it does neutral damage. So we're going to go ahead and shield in kind. And this is going to be an interesting situation where both of us are staying in and both of us are very scared of the charge move that could potentially hit, right? The energy ball is what they're looking out for and just a surf is what I'm scared of. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for another lunch here. We get two shields. Perfect. So now I have freedom to go for energy ball. So I'm going to go ahead and shield, but this is going to be up to them. If they can catch the charge move right here, this is going to be huge for them. And they do. Oh, but they swap into a Geodude. An Alolan Geodude. Not only a Alolan Geodude, a shiny Alolan Geodude. So this is still a very troublesome situation. I'm going to come in with Luxray and farm down with Snarl. And let's see what they decide to bring in. If it's the Lantern, we can go for Psychic Fangs. It is going to be the Lantern. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Psychic Fangs right away. My thought is maybe there's a Gavantula in the back. Lantern and Gavantula pair very well together. Just like just because of the, the Geodude threat or the Geo family threat. If you guys know what I mean. Because of the rock damage. So we're going to go ahead and come in with the Graveler. Since they threw the charge move fully farmed down. And if Gavantula is the final Pokemon. Which it is. This is a very very common line. We see Lantern lead Gavantula in the back. Something Something else back there, whether it's Hisuian Geodude or Hisuian, um, sorry, a Hisuian Electrode, boom! Um, Luxray or maybe Electrode, one of those three. But good games right here. The Electric Cup, single typing, pretty fun, but a good opportunity for you guys to invest in Gavantula and Lantern if you guys have not and try out some other spicy Pokemon. I decided to go with the Alolan Graveler because it's just solid in this meta and Luxray with Hyper Beam was my spicy pick of today and we landed some great booms. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video and like always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.